Yes. Come on. Where's Shy? Where's the grind, baby? Wake up. Get up, all work. Spin push. Hey! 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 10 miles total of books, baby. Hey, how's it doing? He's gonna run my five, oh, 10 miles, baby. Hey! So, did you guys catch the Robert Lawler versus Nick Diaz rematch? Part two, man. I was, you know, I'm a big Nick Diaz fan. You no, know, I was definitely rooting for him. I, I wanted him to win. I wanted him to win uh, against Robert Lawler. I mean, I'm a Robert Lawler fan too. You no, know, but uh, you know, I'm more rooting for Robert Lawler. But between the two of them, you know, um, I like Nick Diaz a little better. You know, I thought it was gonna be like a repeat of the first fight. You know, Nick Diaz cardio is just so beast. You know, I thought you know Nick Diaz was. Was on that, you know, um, triathlon lifestyle, vegan diet. But no, man, this guy didn't make weight. Like the fight was supposed to be at 170, a welterweight. But uh, I'm not sure exactly what weight he, he, he was he weighed in at. But uh, he changed the weight class, he moved up to middleweight, and just for Nick Diaz. You know, sometimes I see him on Instagram, you know, I follow him on Instagram. You know, I see him like, you know, in Vegas, partying, drinking. You know, not sometimes, you know, but I figure the rest of the time before that, you know, he's training hard every day, you know, living the life of a martial arts hermit. Just wake up, run, eat, train, you know, take a nap, wake up, train some more. You know, that's the lifestyle of a fighter, just train, eat, and sleep, and then take a nap, do it again, repeat. You know, and like, you know, before the weigh in, you know, that little pre fight, you know, warm up, you know, and the, the audience is watching him, like, uh, um, you know, shadow box and whatnot. And when Nick Diaz was shadow boxing, I, I it was a big deal. And, you know, he, I thought he looked normal. He was shadow boxing super slow. But, you know, it was a big ruckus. Everybody was like, wow, Nick Diaz was awful. It was too slow. I thought it looked the same, but I, I guess not. Someone, people saw what I didn't see. When the fight started, man, Nick Diaz, man, he was not there. You know, Robert Lawler pushed the pace on him. You know, Nick Diaz, you know, he's, he's doing his punches and stuck and slap. You know, but even then, you know, Robert Lawler was outpacing him, just getting the better of the punches. So, same thing round two, Nick Diaz comes out, Robert comes out. You know, and Robert Lawler is pushing the pace on Nick Diaz. It's, it's crazy. You know, so, boss shots, boom, boom, boom. Body shot, head shot, body shot, head shots. You know, um, I'm like, dang. I'm like, I'm watching this, I'm like, dang. I wanted to cry, I felt bad, you know. I like to do a lot, you know, I'm a big news fan. And I'm definitely rooting for him, but it looks so bad. Like, it looked like he didn't belong there anymore. Um, it looked like he didn't have a chance, but I was just whooping on him. And it's third round, probably the worst round, man. Like, I was like, you know, the body shot somewhere. And like, they dropped Nick Diaz, and like, Nick Diaz can't even get up. He just quit. And he didn't come out, didn't even come out. It was like the middle of the third round. And like, man, this is bad. I mean, I don't get it, man. I guess he, it's time he fought for the money. And from what I heard, it's like he's low in cash. And like, I wanted to fight again. He was, it gives extra bucks. Like, I mean, I don't get it, man. I thought I had a school. You know, I think he's out of school. And another... Funny thing, like Nate, Nate Diaz was not in his corner. You know, that was really weird because, you know, those, those guys are pretty close. They're, they're boys and they're brothers, you know. So, um, I thought it was kind of weird to see, not see Nate Diaz and his older brother in Nate Diaz's corner. I mean, you know, Nate Diaz was out for like six years. And Robert Lawler was on a, like a three-fight losing streak, three-four-fight losing streak. But nonetheless, Robert Lawler has been active, you know, losing streak or not. You know, he's been fighting. No, that's a lot better than not fighting and drinking and just partying it up all day. And even at the end, of Robert Lawler had like, I still had like good things to say about Nick Diaz. You know, saying like, you know, Nick Diaz is a warrior. You know, 
There's all the respect for him, you know. Me too. Um, as I respect Nick Diaz, you know, paved the way for a lot of good fighters. You know, he definitely, you know, influenced me in my training. You know, for me, as for me, you know, I'll always be a fan of Nick Diaz. Nick and Nick Diaz, you know, I love the style, you know, I love the attitude, I love the passion. Um, you know, I want to see Nick Diaz succeed, do well, but you know, I don't know if he can, if he has it. It seems like he lost the passion. Once the passion is over, you know, um, it, 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 it gets the, it gets the back when to fight again. I'm not sure if we get get in enough shape to to fight again. You know, get sparring. Uh, you know, get your jitsu back, get the timing. You know, the the condition is it's rough. Like I said before in some past videos, you can't fight for money, man. Like, you you gotta do it because you love it. Like uh. Uh, I have a school, you know, a uh, family. You know, I don't need to fight, but I, I really enjoy it. It's really fun for me. Same thing with Nick Diaz, man. Like, um, you know, I guess he's in a little bit of financial trouble. He had to do what he had to do. But, damn, that's a tough way to make a living, you know? You know, but guys, let me know in the comment below what you thought about the rematch with Nick Diaz versus uh, Nick Diaz versus Robert Lawler. You guys like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, fire or die. Hey.